Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to WoW Classic Wrath pre-patch and our Death Knight playthrough. We're going to be tanking today, we're going to be tanking uh, Hellfire Citadel Ramparts. We have assembled a group from the Looking for Dungeon Finder. We have a mage, a paladin, a rogue, and another paladin. <laughs> it was either lots of paladins or lots of uh, death knights. So this time around I went with the lots of paladins. I don't know where we're at. We were all right here together as one. Now we're just standing here. Let's go on and go in. Anyone forget to repair? No, I mean, no. Someone's vendoring really quick. Okay, awesome. Uh, who do we need here? Once we get the healer in, we can start pulling a little bit. Now, this is my first time ever tanking on a Death Knight, so it's probably... It's going to be interesting. It could be rough. But, you know, when you see me doing stuff that is, you know, not optimal, stuff that you wouldn't do, uh, just try to keep in mind... I, I am new to tanking on the Death Knight, trying to learn it, and I'm going to try to learn it by doing it, um, because that's kind of how I learn how to do things. We don't have Death and Decay yet, I don't really know at what level we get Death and Decay, but we're, we're going to go ahead and get right into things here. I need to start seeing how things work. We have four people. I mean, I hope we're not missing the healer, but we could be. Everybody's here now. Uh, well, I kind of want to wait here. I don't know that I want this whole group all together, but, you know, why not? I mean, that seemed okay in a button-poundy sort of way. I, obviously, I want to do Pestilence, I want to Blood Boil, I also want to do Heart Strike. I, the thing about the Death Knight that I'm having problems with is that you want to do everything at all times. You, you want to do everything at all times. It's basically all there is to it. I need to, like, get this guy to come back here with me. And yeah, so you have all these buttons. You need to be hitting all of them, essentially. And uh, it's kind of hard to track. I don't think any of the green stuff is going to be an upgrade for any of the blues that we have, so... Why couldn't I use this? It was because there was no corpse around, right?
Maybe that was a little bit too much. Let's allow everyone to take a moment here and we can think about some things. So, Heart Strike hits additional enemies. Now, Heart Strike hits the target and his nearest ally. It does more damage for active diseases. We just seem to be taking a, a crap ton of damage. Maybe I need to be death striking more. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of how much damage we're taking. <laughs> Of course this guy was like tied to that group, why wouldn't he be? Am I just standing in fire? Is that what's going on? Could be what's going on. We could just be standing in fire. And there's level 60, if I pop into here really quick. Uh, I don't know if I want Dancing Rune Weapon, to be honest. Let's go there. Uh, I don't know if I can take the boss now. I think I should probably wait until I can maybe get this group on the side. But then again, maybe we can grab the boss. Yeah, they want me to grab the boss, so... Let's go ahead this may hurt. and grab the boss. Spoiler alert, man, you're not getting healed. Uh, that's a one-handed sword that we don't need. Maybe the, yeah, the rogue needs it, it looks like. That's good. At least somebody needs it. These guys aren't doing rain of fire anymore, they're doing like, they lay fire on the ground it looks like. 
They used to do a big old obnoxious rain of fire, and like at least then you could see it. It was more obvious, like more like a hey, you need to move out of this type of thing. I feel like we're getting through this and it's fine, but like ultimately I know that I'm not being optimal with the abilities. So there's that. Let's bring you back here.
Well, that's fun. Well, that's two bosses down. Looks like we're gonna get a res on our mage here. I don't want everyone to be topped off here. Once we pull these guys and defeat them, it's going to initiate the boss. So, kind of waiting for the mage to get some mana back. He's not drinking, so I mean, I'm not going to wait forever. You have faced many challenges. Pity they were all in vain. Soon your people will kneel to my lord! Your time is running out! Let's not stand in the fire. My lord will be the end of you all! Yeah, I mean, that's a clear. It's a full clear. I feel like, yes, we tanked it. Did we understand what we were doing and why the whole time we were tanking it? Not really. Uh, that's nice. A couple of really awesome caster rings. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, I'm gonna do one more run. I don't know if it'll be with these folks or if we'll have to put a new group together, but yeah, I wanna do one more time. We have a paladin sticking around. Uh, we have uh, the rogue sticking around. Anybody else wanna stick around? If not, hopefully they will drop and we will be able to Yeah, I mean, they might as well vendor. It'd be nice to keep, like, somebody here. But it looks like mostly people are flying. So somebody told me, one of you guys told me we can get flying at level 60. I actually didn't know that was a thing. I thought we had to wait till, like, 68, to, or 66, rather, to get our, our flying mounts. But that's not the case. We can get them at level 60. Gonna have to fly out, or fly, gonna have to run out to Shadow Moon Valley to do that. 
just a little bit of a run down through Terracar Forest, uh, I believe. I thought the camp was like closer to here, but I guess it's not. Maybe it's all the way over here. Oh, we're alliance. <laughs> I keep forgetting what faction we're on. We're gonna come down here to get our to get our flying. So, yeah, that's a thing. I'm gonna go ahead and reset all data while we wait. Turn it back on current. Yeah, so I'm trying to figure out like priorities. I've been trying to get icy touch and plague strike up. Spread that around with pestilence. Pop them with Blood Boil. It deals additional damage to those affected. So I kind of want to wait, although sometimes when I need Snap Aggro, I, I'll just pop Blood Boil right away, which is probably bad. If we had Death and Decay, I wouldn't need to do that. But I actually don't know at what level we get Death and Decay, unless we get it at 60. Which is, is, is entirely possible. I think training level 60, uh, well, yeah, training level 60 would probably be a good idea. I haven't done any questing here yet in the Hellfire. I don't know how much questing I'm really going to want to do on the Death Knight. I mainly want to focus dungeons for a while and to see how that goes, to see if I'm going to really want to tank on the class because... Outside of tanking, I, I don't really have any other designs for it. It's not a class that I'm really going to want to DPS on, I don't think. So, I want to find out if I actually... I want to find out if, uh, if I actually like the tanking, so... I'm going to help him get some people summoned, hopefully, if we get at least two other people here we can death gate and go train all right <laughs> uh, I think our trainers are on this level I shouldn't have to go down a level we should be able to run all the way to the back Death and Decay, there we go. That was what we needed. Uh, let's get that out. Like, immediately. Perfect. I love it. Life's gonna get better now. One, two, three, four. Oh, resetting would be good. Resetting would be great. Uh, let's go ahead and reset. There we go. It's important to do that kind of thing when you're the group leader. Yeah, AoE tanking just got like incredibly easy now. We're not really gonna have to worry about too much. Um, now that we have Death and Decay, it's gonna be probably a cakewalk. We still want to optimize. I still don't like feeling like I can face roll my keyboard and win. That's like not a great feeling to have. On the Paladin tank, I feel like really in control of tanking. On the Warrior, I feel like I have to do a lot of work, but I also feel in control of my rotation and what's happening. So there's that. Everyone should be able to come in now. I thought we were doing one more... No, I mean... Yeah, ramps, I just had to reset. I was pretty clear. I, I think I was pretty clear. Yeah, my literal words were, I will do one more. 
if you guys will. Hoping we can get some people in here any second. pop out and just see what everyone's doing we're, we're good to go guys we're good to go maybe they're waiting for us to pop out I don't know they're confusing me now we're good to go though see four people now, so we should be good. All right, feel, I'm feeling a little bit more controlled this time, a little bit more like I'm intentionally doing specific things. I'm not really using vampiric blood and I probably could be doing that more. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's lots of things I could be doing to optimize this uh, that I'm just not doing.
Yeah, the thing I'm having a hard time keeping track of on this class is like, I'm having a hard time keeping track of my runes. Having a really hard time with the runes and with knowing uh, what runes are up, what runes are not up, when they're going to be up again, when they're not going to be up. It's, uh, it's kind of a mess, honestly. I, I think I don't want to stand in this, like, not at all. Yeah, like, a lot of times I feel like I need to I need to press a healing ability, like a rune tap or a death strike, and I can't do it because I don't have blood runes. And it's like, trying to keep all that in my head is, is a little bit challenging. When I have all the runes up to start a pull, it's like, pretty easy. Uh, but yeah, sometimes I go for a healing ab ability and I, and I don't have it. And it's usually because of a rune cooldown. I hope these guys, like, actually come all the way back here. This may hurt. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, that was misplayed. But apparently it's going to be fine, because... Of course it is. Heal me quickly. <laughs> ah, some leather bracers. I don't think we actually need any loot off of these guys, so. I'm really just doing this for my own experience of figuring out if I want to tank and if I can learn how to tank on this class.
gonna go ahead and let the pallet and get some mana back. I'm sure he'd like to have some. You dare stand against me? Plate belt. Uh, we <laughs> we have a blue belt somewhere. Yeah, like where it is, who knows? Um, waste. Yeah, let's get that on so we can compare. We could put a bunch of a strength in there. Uh, I'm gonna let the paladin have it. Yeah, we don't we don't need it that badly. I, I will start rolling on uh, upgrades, people. People get annoyed when I don't roll on upgrades. This might be an upgrade. Oh, yeah, we could we cram a bunch of uh, cram a bunch of strength into it, perhaps. And yeah, that's that. I mean, two runs, back to back. Uh, pole arm, 281 top end damage, 30 strength, 27 stam, improves crit. I'm gonna roll on that. Stamina and resilience. And yeah, there we go, guys. That's probably gonna be it for these runs for today. Yeah, I, I still don't know. I feel like we could definitely succeed as a tank in these kinds of runs. Does that mean I think that I'd ever be a great Death Knight tank? I don't know the answer to that yet. I think it's going to take uh, a little bit more experimenting to find out. Uh, I think it's going to take just uh, a little bit more time with the class to figure out... Uh, if we're going to be any good at it, it, it feels like it's pretty easy to pick up, especially once you get Death and Decay. You know, you could throw a Death and Decay down, you could do a Blood Boil, you're going to hold AoE threat pretty well. I think the trick with the Death Knight class probably has to do with, like, when to use your heals and your your little your little cooldowns. Your, your Rune Tap, when to use your Vampiric Blood that we haven't been using. And I think it really comes down... Uh, more to stuff like that when it comes to, you know, either being skilled at the class or or simply being mediocre at it. But yeah, I'd, I'd love to hear you guys' feedback. Let me know what you think. And yeah, as always, I, I appreciate you guys being here, spending your time with me, and for all the support. Thank you guys so much. Take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again sometime really soon. Bye for now.